Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys check out lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for your support and stay tuned for the video. All right, so I wanna come on here and talk about the whole Andrea Kelly situation. If you guys do not know Drea, AKA Andrea Kelly, she went onto The View today and basically she's talking more about the whole R. Kelly situation and she's putting the Pissy Pie Piper on blast even more. <laughs> And in this interview, she cries, she breaks down, she talks about how R. Kelly abused her, he would hog tie her, how he almost killed her. It was really, really sad to watch her breaking down and crying. I want you guys to go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my comments. To R. Kelly for 13 years, you've been divorced for 10. Why come out now? Because it's about saving lives. Mm -hmm. And you cannot not speak when someone's life and what they've been through is parallel to yours. It's different when you hear things and it's like, oh, I heard it on the radio or I read it in a magazine, but it's different when you hear words that ring true to your spirit because you've survived it and been through it. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to bring validity to these women's stories because I think so much it falls on deaf ears and no one believes them. So I felt if I could come forward and say, you know what, it's true because I've been through it and the things that these women are saying, they would not know my life unless they've been through it too. I have to speak up. So the Me Too, Thing is what pro pro prompted this? No, oh. actually it was seeing a young lady on another talk show oh. and some of the things she had described in detail, oh. I had been through, I mean verbatim. I see. Wow. I and see. it was just something about that that <laughs> pierced my spirit that I was like, if no one else is going to speak up for her, if no one else is going to believe her, at least she knows that I do. Okay. Well, and, uh, I know this, this may be difficult for you to recount, um, but I, I, I want to ask you this. You were the victim of domestic violence during your marriage, you say, and you talk about a Hummer attack. Can you share that with us? Um, I'm going to try to get through it without okay. crying. Very difficult. Um, a lot of people know that I'm a professional dancer, mm -hmm. so my body is my work. And I remember one time he attacked me in the back of a Hummer, and I do suffer from PTSD because of it. Whenever Hummers, when I would see them on the road, I would shake, my hands would sweat, and I would get nervous, and I couldn't breathe. And he attacked me one time in the back of a Hummer, and I thought I was going to die in the back of the Hummer. Because what he had done, he'd taken this left arm and pulled it behind me and his weight was on my body but he didn't realize his forearm was on my neck so as he's pressing down my breathing is getting labored and the only reason why I think I made it out was because I said Robert you're gonna kill me I can't breathe you have to get your arm off of my neck mm -hmm. and I just remember sitting in the back of the Hummer and it got blue and I just thought, oh my God, I'm gonna die in the back of this Hummer and he's gonna drive off with my body in the back seat and nobody's gonna know. And you also talk about being hogtied. Yeah. What do you mean by that? He, uh, I oftentimes say when he would have an episode, I knew when it was about to happen because his eyes would change and his demeanor would change. And there was something in my spirit, I would get very fearful because I'm like, I think he's going to attack me. And he got really angry with me and he started arguing with me. And I'm like, you know what, I'm fine. I'm not gonna do this with you. I don't wanna argue with you. I don't wanna fight with you. And he was like, you what? And I just remember instantly when he grabbed me and threw me down, I was on my stomach. So I'm trying to fight to get away. So what he did, he grabbed, um, it was the strap to his robe off of the bed and he had his knee in my back and he took both of my arms behind me, tied them and then attached my legs to my arms. And he hog tied me and left me on the side of the bed and he actually fell asleep. And that's the only way I got away because I was like, okay, God, how am I going to get out of this? And God said, just lay there. And I'm thinking, well, no, I got to get away. But that was the best thing I could have done because he actually fell asleep. And that's the way me being a dancer, I'm like, if I keep moving my legs, it's eventually going to make this get loose. And if I can get my legs loose, I can get my arms loose. And I finally did and got away. Did you? Yeah. What, what set him off? What, what would cause him to get in these? It could be anything from the milk being too cold or not cold enough for breakfast. Yeah. It could be anything from, you knew I told you not to wear that. That's too revealing. It could be if I answered him in the wrong way, if he felt there was too much tone in my voice. Was he like that before you married him? 
Not at all. No, of course mm. not at all. It's no abuse. Cool. And yeah. you get victim shamed, right? And your your kids have been bullied. Tell yes. tell us about this. When I came out, I thought, great, I'm going to empower women and save lives, and this is going to help someone, and they're going to believe his victims. And people actually said, oh, she's coming out because she needs money, or she didn't say anything because she got money. Mm -hmm. And there's not enough money in the world for any woman to stay <laughs> and be abused. All right, so you guys just watched that really disturbing video of Andrea Kelly telling her story. Now, like I've always said, I believe Andrea Kelly. I believe that she was abused. But what I'm not liking is this new narrative that she and the viewer are trying to spin. Okay, so the view posted on Twitter today, Andrea Kelly, I'm being victim shamed after claims of abuse by ex-husband R. Kelly. People actually said, oh, she's coming out because she needs money or she didn't say anything because she got money. There's not enough money in the world for a woman to stay and be abused. This is a new narrative that they're spinning that, you know, people like myself who question Andrea Kelly are victim shaming her. And this is what irks me with this whole victim shaming mentality, this whole shaming word. People asking legitimate questions is not victim shaming, okay? Because like I told y'all in my initial video about Andrea Kelly, I do have to question her because you were on a show, even after all of this abuse, you were on a show called Hollywood Exes, still promoting your ex-husband. You were doing interviews, still telling folks to go buy tickets to his show because it pays your bills, okay? years this woman sat by even as recently as a year ago you guys can watch my first Andrea Kelly video she was cussing out anybody who brought stuff up to her about R. Kelly who asked her opinion on R. Kelly and all these girls and all you know these girls coming out she was going off on folks even demanding that folks go and see R. Kelly in concert because it keeps her lights and her bills paid let me go ahead and refresh your memory feels good and keep going to his concerts and buying them tickets and them CDs. Boo, that keeps my lights on, girl. Honey, it ain't free out here. What? Y'all telling me what he is doing in his life, who cares? I'm his act. He can do whatever the fuck he want to do in his life. That's his life. Um, I don't understand why people like to spread venom. I'm quick to say how y'all don't like my ex and he this and he that, but then your dumb ass will get up and spread the same bullshit. You were saying a lot of really strange stuff for somebody to now come out and say, look, I was abused. Oh, what was me? I was abused. Like I said, I believe she was abused. R. Kelly's a sick person. I don't think she's lying at all. But people have the right to question you without you trying to flip it around and say that folks were shaming you. People have every right to question when you come out after the fact. Because again, we know her from Hollywood exes because many of us didn't even know that R. Kelly was married. He had a wife or kids, none of that stuff, okay? So we got to know her because of Hollywood exes. You got on because of your ex-husband. So my questions are very much legitimate. Why did you not come out from day one and tell everybody about this abuse? You know what I'm saying? To me, that's what made people question you like, okay, hold on. You've been promoting him all these years. Even recently as a year ago, you were making excuses. You were saying that you don't have no comment about him and his young girlfriend. That's his business. So, I mean, I understand people come out when they want to come out and people tell their story when they want to come out and tell their story, which is fine. And I'm glad that she's speaking out. But what we're not going to do is play the whole victim shaming thing because my platform never victim shamed her. I held her accountable for the things that she did and what she didn't do in this situation, okay? And I think if more people would have been honest and spoke out, he wouldn't have got a chance to abuse other people. This is how abuse continues because everybody just sits by and ignores it and they don't say anything. And then it happens to the next person and the next person the next person whereas if the woman even before Andrea Kelly got with him would have spoke up about his abuse it may stop Andrea Kelly from being abused if Andrea Kelly would have spoke up sooner it probably would have stopped the abuse by a lot of these women so people have the right to ask questions you know what I'm saying just like the women who come out with this whole me too movement and you're you know you're claiming that this person did that to you and this person did that to you and it's literally 10 years after the fact 
You know, people have the right to question stuff, and that's the thing. I never think that it's okay for people to be shamed when it comes to questioning or looking at all facts or looking at the situation from a different point of view. You know what I mean? Should she be shamed as a victim? No, because she's a victim. But people have the right to question you without you trying to twist it and say that people were victim shaming you. People were asking legitimate questions at the end of the day, and especially when you're saying one thing, but then we're seeing a whole nother thing as recently as a year ago. I hope that Drea Kelly gets the help that she needs. I hope she gets the counseling. And I hope that R. Kelly eventually ends up getting locked up. He's left a wake of destruction in his path. He's affected a lot of people, including his children. You know, he doesn't have anything to do with them. You know, he basically severed that bond. So I can imagine what they're going through emotionally and what they're thinking. And especially if they were there to witness the abuse. So hopefully she will get her justice. But what the view and what the mainstream media is not going to do is twist this around and act like people who are asking legitimate questions were victim shaming her. So that's the only part that I did not agree with. But other than that, I did like her interview and I'm glad that she is speaking out and she's being more open and honest about what this man did to her instead of dropping little clues here and there. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Drea Kelly speaking out on the view about the abuse that she faced from her ex-husband, R. Kelly. How do you guys feel about what she had to say? And then how do you feel about, you know, the view and others trying to twist us around and say that anyone who was questioning her was somehow victim shaming her when a lot of us were asking legitimate questions? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.